I found these mountain plaques at the Dollar Tree and I re removed the metal lettering that said dreaming and I painted my three mountains in Wise Owl white primer and when that dried I took a mixture of our salt wash and snow owl and uh, salt wash is just a paint additive to give it a thickness so I could do this stippling motion on each of the mountains and allowed them to dry. I found this plaque in the clearance section at Hobby Lobby. I think I paid $10 for it. And I painted the interior with the Wise Owl White Primer. Uh, I believe I did two or three coats to cover all the lettering. And today I'm going to be working with the Mountain Mist Tissue Paper by Roy Cycled. You can find this at chocolateoffancy.com. And when you're working with something this large, you definitely want to do it in sections. So I started with the One Hour Enamel Clear at the top of the board. I really like this board. It's got a nice wood frame, um, but it does make it a little challenging when you're trying to get tissue paper inside that frame. This fit pretty close, so it wasn't too, too bad. Uh, once you get the one hour enamel cleared down and you lay your paper, you're gonna roll some, uh, you're gonna put some saran wrap on here and you're gonna use our brayer. You can find this at chalkitupfancy.com. And this is just gonna make sure that the tissue paper makes contact with your pro project and it also removes some of the wrinkles. Then I'm gonna lift up my tissue paper and I'm gonna do the bottom half. Again, one hour enamel clear, lay the paper down, saran wrap, and then the brayer. You can find the one hour enamel clear, the primer, and the tissue paper, along with the brayer, all at chocolateoffancy.com. With the tissue paper, a lot of times I like to do kind of like a mixed media, and that's what you're gonna see today. Once this was done, I did a one coat over the entire project and allowed that to dry. Once dry, I took the little bit of tissue paper that was hanging over at the bottom with a razor blade and removed that. I found this Faith Can Move Mountains at the Dollar Tree. It's just a sticker. I'm gonna put it just randomly at the top. And I had these uh, pine tree stencils I believe I grabbed this on Amazon a ways back and I'm taking the salt wash mixture and I'm doing the interior of each pine. I'm kind of looking for that more white modern tone. Um, this also could probably look a little bit more Christmassy, but I really was trying to just get like that more um, farmhouse modern look with this project. Once that was dry, I took the hangers off of my mountains and I used E6000 and a little bit of hot glue and glued them to the bottom of my board. And now you have this really nice Faith Can Move Mountains plaque. I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chocolateoffancy.com. For any paint products, tissue paper, or transfers, chocolateoffancy.com.